Welcome back. This is going to be my daily forecast uh, for September 22nd, 2020. So usually I make a uh, weekly forecast, but now I'm going to start doing daily forecasts uh, for every trading day in the week from Monday to Friday and then a weekly forecast on Sunday. And uh, we'll start off by looking at the W2I and then we'll go and look at natural gas, copper, gold, silver, um, cocoa, and then platinum market. And as you can see, go, uh, oil has uh, broken down quite significantly after being rejected at the 50 uh, moving average. And that was expected. There's just not the demand on uh, the world uh, market at the moment for oil because the world economy is slowing down. And also because we are seeing another surge or a second wave of coronaviruses around the world. And that, of course, will impact airlines, it will impact the transportation and uh, that general economy as a whole. Uh, so do expect, we do expect that this market to go much lower. Uh, we'll probably go and retest in the beginning this support area here, which is around uh, $36. If this support area breaks, then we'll go down to uh, $35. And if we break $35, then we'll go much lower. Uh, as I said in my weekly forecast, we may go and retest these Fibonacci retracements here. Uh, the first one is at 38% um, is at just around $30. Then the 50 is at $25. And then uh, 61 is at $21. That is uh, fairly realistic if we um, have a similar scenario uh, to the one that we had back in April, March, uh, when we had this enormous breakdown in the oil market uh, due to the um, closing of um, most of the major economies around the world. Uh, at this point, there is no vaccine there, in, and we may see um, a rise in coronaviruses around the world, which may will mean that the economy will basically slow down further, and that also means that demand will uh, will shrink in this market, and that will therefore pushing uh, prices lower. There is also another problem for this market, and that is that we see a, a appreciation in the US dollar and of course that has a negative effect on, on oil prices and this price and therefore the prices will go lower. If you look at the technical uh, indicators we can see that the MACD is about to cross the signal line indicating oh it's rather flat at the moment but uh, but uh, so yeah probably not too much to look at, the, at there. Uh, if you look at the stochastic, we are about to cross this signal line indicating that momentum is going to shift to the downside. And uh, if you look at the RSI, it is pointing also downwards, meaning that we will have a further uh, downward pressure on prices here. So I'm not a uh, buyer in this market. This is clearly a market that is going to break down. Uh, we did get rejected here at the 50 moving average and as you can see um, trading session isn't over yet today and we have probably uh, quite a long way to go. So if you look at natural gas, natural gas markets we have basically, we did rally in the beginning of uh, this morning session uh, but we broke down again. And uh, at this point, we'll probably go and retest the 50 moving average. That would be quite healthy for this market and would be um, a really good uh, buying opportunity. Um, this is all due to the uh, extreme weather conditions in the United States. And uh, as long as um, that is the case, that uh, we have uh, record high temperatures and so on, uh, then this market will uh, continue going higher. But at this point, we ran into major resistance at uh, 2.7, and this historically has been an area of resistance. So if we were to break through at uh, 
we would go to this uh, high of 2.9 and if we break that then we'll go to this level which is around the 3.4 and um, I we probably need a lot of work in getting through this area here uh, at this point I probably uh, 2.9 to uh, 3.4 3.5 so something like that is probably the most this market will go uh, the next coming months but who knows um, this was a really good rally and at the moment we are just having a pull back to the 50 moving average before we go higher i do not expect this market to break down anytime soon we can also look at the technical indicators the macd is quite negative however the, the stochastic has crossed the signal line indicating that the momentum has shifted to the upside. Uh, RSI is quite flat, it is not oversold, not, not overbought, so um, do expect us to go higher at, at any time. If we can get you know, close to the 50 moving average, that is a really good buying opportunity. So if we look at the, the copper, So copper has broken down uh, quite substantially this uh, trading session. I think we're down around two percent, a little bit more than that. And um, and and the copper has basically been hugging this uh, 50 moving average for a long time now. We broke the 50 moving average in in May, and since then it has been major support for copper. Uh, so every opportunity. Uh, we have the right every single time the copper gets close to the 50 moving average that is a buying opportunity for copper uh, if we do break the 50 moving average and we get a you know, red candlestick below the 50 moving average then the 200 moving average um, uh, will basically be our next support uh, area so if we look at the technical indicators um, the MACD is quite flat we're not just completely on the signal line. However, the stochastic is pointing downwards and also the RSI is pointing downwards indicating we have uh, downwards momentum. Uh, so um, at this point, we'll probably go, uh, go and retest the 50 moving average again. That will be around this area here at the 2.9 or probably around the three. Three, yeah, that would probably be a, a, a major um, support around this area here so yes copper still very bullish uh, long term uh, this market will probably go to to 3.1 and then 3.2 and uh, then we have the high 0.3.3 um, that will probably take some while uh, quite a long time in order to get to those levels so looking at gold So gold has broken the 50 moving average. So we, I talked about uh, this this uh, triangle that we've been trading in uh, the last few few weeks, and as you can see, we have broken through this triangle. We have also broken through the 50 moving average. If we were to, uh, if this trading session were to um, to close below the 50 moving average, uh, then that is a really bearish shine. Uh, I was afraid that this was going to happen. And one of the major reasons is the, the US dollar that is appreciating, which has a very negative effect on gold. This market could have broken to the upside. It has tried several times, gotten close to this uh, resistant area here and then broken down. However, we also tried to test the support area here, and but now it looks like we're finally going to uh, uh, test the uh, 1900 level, which we are really close at. If you look at uh, a horizontal line here, 1900 is there, and we're just above the 1900 level. This should be significant support if we break that level and. Uh, um, today and tomorrow we have a red candlestick here underneath this level 
then we're going all the way down to 1800. If we break 1800, then we have the 200 moving average right underneath, uh, which will, will be a significant uh, support area. But at the moment, we have broken this triangle here and we are retesting, we are testing 1900. Um, yes, quite exciting. And uh, uh, people that are trading this should basically look at the US dollar index because if that goes up, then this market goes down. If the US dollar um, depreciation, depreciates, then this market will go up. And at the moment, the US dollar is increasing in value. If you look at the technical indicators, they are really uh, bearish at this moment. Uh, the MACD is you know, about to cross this line, indicating that we have a bearish momentum. Uh, the stochastic is pointing really aggressively downwards, and the same goes for um, the RSI. We're not at oversold at the moment, uh, so we probably have some way to go. Uh, at this point, we are going to retest 1900. If that breaks, we'll go all the way down to 1800. Uh, which should be a really good buying opportunity. If you look at silver, then very similar here. We haven't broken the 50 moving average, but if we uh, draw the same line similar to uh, similar to uh, gold, then we can see that we have broken through this uh, this uh, triangle here. And at the moment, we are just on top of the 50 moving average. Um, we may break the 50 moving average, and uh, one of the areas that we may go retest is this 50 move, is this Fibonacci retracement, which is at 38.2, and that is at 22 dollars. If we break that, then we we'll go to the 50 uh, Fibonacci retracement, which is at 20 dollars, and that is probably uh, realistic because uh, we can see that the 200 moving average is going to go travels at this rate somewhere here and uh, this fall will probably coincide with the uh, 200 moving average so we'll probably meet at the same area around here so uh, worst case scenario 20 dollars and then we'll probably bounce from here uh, this is a market that is way overextended. We can just see the distance between the 50 moving average and the 200 moving average. So expect um, this market to go lower. This is not a market that, that you should probably sell because we're still in an uptrend, but we are way overextended and it was expected for this market to break down quite significantly. If you look at all the technical indicators, they're all pointed to downwards momentum and, that, and we have uh, quite some um, area to cover before we get oversold. We're only at uh, 42 at the moment and we can go much lower than this. So yes, $20 is quite realistic at this point. If you look at Kikoa, sorry, so we can see that we had uh, it rallied quite substantially in the beginning of this uh, training session, and then it broke down. Then, so at this point, we can say that this area is our uh, our um, support area for now. Now oh, it's resistant. Sorry, resistant area now. So at the 2.7 is our is major resistant at the moment. We got up to this level and then broke down substantially. Um, this is still a market that is most likely going to go higher. It's going to take some time, probably going to travel sideways or going to retest the 200 moving average. We can see the 50 moving average is going to cross the 200 moving average. So we get a golden crossing here. And at some point we are going to break this uh, line. We, are, we have been making uh, higher lows. We have here, here, here. So this market will most likely go uh, quite uh, much higher than this. If you look at the Fibonacci retracement, uh, we can see that if this market would to break down, it would not go further than at 2.4 because we have the Fibonacci retracement here, 
we have the 200 moving average and underneath we have the 50 moving average. So, so it, it's quite unlikely that we will break this support area here because yeah, that is really unlikely. So uh, in best case scenario, uh, pullbacks are buying opportunities and uh, yeah, just wait for this market to basically break down, get close to the 200 moving average and then there's a really good buying opportunity for 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 Kokoa. So platinum. Yes, so platinum has broken down quite significantly. Uh, we have been on a really nice bullish run all the way since uh, uh, since March, and today we are uh, nearly three four percent down. Uh, we have broken the fifty moving average. Underneath here, we have the two hundred moving average. Which will act as um, which will act as uh, support, and uh, if we look at the Fibonacci retracements, we can see that that underneath the two hundred moving average, we have the thirty eight point two, which is around uh, eight hundred and forty forty two, and that is also historically significant uh, support. So if we were to break the two hundred moving average then this area here should be significant support at around the 842. Um, this is still a bullish market. We have had a massive pullback um, and probably due to the, to the uncertainty in the world economy. Uh, in the long run, we may see this market turn, um, basically go and retest these lows. Uh, because if uh, world production um, stagnates or it basically goes in decline, then this market will be significantly affected like it was uh, back in February and March. You can see how volatile this market basically was when the world economy is basically closed down. Uh, we're not at that stage yet where the world economies are about to close down, but that can happen. We are... Uh, entering flu season and flu season with the coronavirus is not a good cocktail. So at this point, um, every massive pullback is a uh, buying opportunity for this market. We have been uh, making higher lows. So um, I do expect us to bounce from the 200 moving average and then we'll probably go and retest these highs here of uh, 1.0. So yes. Uh, you're welcome to support the channel by uh, by clicking the support button and the like button and um, good luck trading and uh, thank you very much.